ArcEng project is, uh, is about connecting the architects and engineers that build structures in the built environment. The better we're able to make them work together, I think, the, the better the outcomes for everyone are going to be, both the clients and society at large. So the ArcEng initiative is um, one way of helping to foster those sorts of networks. Um, it's a fun environment. We really wanted to promote that creative, iterative uh, uh, process in real time. So the way we designed it was we picked something of relevance to Wellington where we based it. We picked Cuba Street. Uh, we found a site on Cuba Street that uh, obviously looks as though it's, uh, it could be developed and we structured the entire program design around that. So the first part of that was getting the students to go for a walk on the site visit. Uh, get a feel for it, see where you think shops make sense, possibly on the ground floor, where square could develop and maybe just have a bit of wonder around. It's um, pretty standard practice for the architects to, uh, to get a feel for place and, and, and the surrounding context for their designs. One of the comments a lot of the engineers had was that uh, it's quite new for them. It was good to sort of see it from a design perspective and start to talk to other people about it and how other people see it um, as, a, as a potential space for a cultural centre. Another objective that uh, we wanted to get out of the architect engineer workshop was um, the ability to highlight cutting edge technology both from a material sense and a structural engineering sense. Being completely rigid in an earthquake and not, um, We visited the McDermott Centre at Victoria University. We were very lucky to um, get one of the structural engineers that was involved in that project. He came on site, he walked the students through the design process and we walked right through that building. I really enjoyed uh, looking at the McDermott building because we've heard a lot about the press system but I've never actually seen it in person and how how the bits all fit together. And then we also were very fortunate to get uh, one of the lead architects involved in the Meridian building, uh, one of the first green, real green star buildings built here in, in Wellington, um, and having him take us through all of the uh, very subtle architectural and engineering design. From the site visits, it was really cool to be shown round by an architect as well as an engineer. The students really got a sense that the good design and good engineering are, are one and the same thing. So, uh, yeah, I think they got a lot out of it. In terms of, in terms of bringing the project uh, into the studio um, and, and starting to jot down ideas on paper was very good because everything was very open. Yeah, we kind of started with spaces and then connecting the spaces. And then we realised with the connections that actually the spaces needed to change and then start the spaces again and then connections again. Well, I do we started refining it and started putting things into scale and, and calculating volumes and the architectural aesthetic and architectural statement that, that we are intending for the site. I guess when we got back we sketched up a few really quick ideas as to, you know, in terms of the volumes and the size of the programme which we have to fit in. We're looking at what sort of structure and we're looking at keeping with the, the regular grid of the city through a, a structural sort of rhythm. So, so far I guess we've come up with the, the general concept of what we're trying to do, how we create the flow from the street into the square, how that interacts with what's going on in the square. And now we're trying to integrate those practical aspects with a more kind of interesting, enriching design concept. The design intent of the ArcNG workshop was to bring architects and engineers as professionals together. There's also another layer wrapped around that, which is to help increase dialogue between the, uh, the organisations that represent those disciplines and, and create a forum for dialogue there. So as part of that, we've, um, we've we invited some judges or panellists to, um, to come in and help us today. Sean Sharman from the Ministry of Science and Innovation and we also pulled in Richard Capey from Brands. By bringing them into the process we're hoping to increase dialogue and uh, it's, it's our hope that they're going to be strong supporters of ArcEng going into the future. We both sort of went on the same tangent together. From an engineering perspective it definitely shows you that outside the School of Engineering there is a big world out there that's less uniform and there's ideas and creativity. It's a fantastic way to add richness to your design. You get to look at a problem from a completely different angle than we're used to at uni. Yeah, it was a good collaborative effort, I think. It's definitely a really good experience. I think some of them are going to be, remain friends for a really long time, so those professional networks have been, have been started. And with a little bit of luck going into the future, we'll be able to pull employers and sponsors of people that are interested in architects and engineers into the programme. 
it's our hope that uh, the, the networks that we're forming in ArcEng are going to last for, for the next 10 or 20 years. This is the next generation of architects and engineers. I think ArcEng has gone really well and uh, I'm, I'm hoping it really takes off from here.